Hello, I'm Call of Duty Nerd, and today I finally get a, get to review a movie I actually like. Wait, what? No, 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 that wasn't a part of the deal, Timmy. You said, you said, since I've uploaded, since I've uploaded so much content, and a creepypasta, new one by the way, check it out, uh... And two creepy pastas. Remember, doll has creepy pasta. Go check it out too. So yeah, I get to review a movie I like. Let's We're reviewing. Of course. The movie I want to be put behind me. The SpongeBob film. Yes, I have SpongeBob teeth. <laughs> bah! I can do the laugh too. SpongeBob. Oh, I'll be SpongeBob, but <laughs> I am SpongeBob. And no, we are not talking about the great one where, like, the king's helmet gets lost and they have to go to Shell City. We're talking about the newer one. The Cash Cow. No, this movie is nothing like the original show. But, but, I like big butts and I cannot lie. Okay, but... And no, I will not go into song next time. It, we, not to say I've seen the film. In a bit. I mean, maybe when I was younger, I just blew it off as not funny and stupid. Let's pray to God that was my thoughts. And dive in, dive straight into the water of SpongeBob, Sponge Out of Water. Well, guess we're swimming out. SpongeBob's out of there. No reason. I don't like Patrick. No, I want to meet me. I'm going to become an internet meme, aren't I? So, yes. We start off on actually a pretty funny note. It's, it's World War with, like, plankton and stuff there's like there's like a big like ketchup thing that shoots shoots the sauce and like a ton of pickles bl bring down this like big metal plane and it is a pretty funny scene for young and well kind of old ages i mean yes i know it's it's not in the spirit of the original cartoon. But. You know what? That song helped me through my depression. So, yes. Fans of the original. Well. People that grew up with Spongebob would actually be pretty happy with this scene. And if you've seen Spongebob lately, you'd see that really does mean a lot. I mean, yes, Spongebob is still going. We all know that. There are those who wish they didn't know that. Frankly, because... Mo, if you're anything like me, you're just in denial. Yeah, Spongebob has gone downhill a lot. Improving animation, old characters just not being how they were. I mean... Take Patrick, for example, which is actually pretty funny in this film. That's saying a lot, too. Take Patrick from the newer cartoon. 
if you're anything like a lot of people, you want to I'm just gonna say beep with every every like word that could get me demonetized. You go boop and rip his boop off and shove it down his boop and throat and make sure he burns and boop. Now that I've got that out of my system, back with the review. What? What? No. No, 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 no. That was just the beginning. Great. There's some stupid plot crap and more plot crap that really does anyone care? Really does anyone? I know the younger kids are just waiting for the oh my god CG SpongeBob <laughs> Just look at the cartoon you have. It's nothing like the original series. Gary, come on! It's practically just this movie, but longer. Yes, I know. SpongeBob is still popular. It's one of the most popular shows Nickelodeon has. But that doesn't particularly make it any better. I mean, in the early days, there was actually, yeah, I'm talking like this. Get out of, get out of my flipping sight, Timmy. So yes, but like big, I'll stop. It may be popular, but that doesn't make it the original. The original was as, well, the original was as cheap as, actually, compared, the 99 cent store would seem like Target. And you'll see it in the animation. But now that it's, well, actually, Well, now that uh, it's got like, oh, all this money, like, like, oh yeah, we got that tape. We got like nine things of tape made out of money. We we have Woody dolls made out of money. We have scissors made out of money. Remotes made out of money. Sexy boys made out of money. More remotes made out of money. More sexy boys made out of money. So, yes, obviously. If, if they were two, two separate shows in, and you had no idea, and you were told one is bootleg and one is the real thing, You'd obviously think the newer one was the bootleg, but a really good bootleg, like the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bootleg. <sighs> because it's got the updated look. Original SpongeBob, I want to shake that mother flipper's hand and then marry it. And then kill it to take off it, all of its prophecies. What? That wasn't in the deal. What? This is just a, this is just a normal remote. I thought I'd shed into things I could, I could buy something with. You're pathetic. That's 
that's practically how the newer series is. So why am I talking so much like about the newer series? So yes. <sighs> I'm filming late at night. Yes, it isn't like it isn't like the new series is not like the the actual SpongeBob bootleg where he's like where he's got like the droopy the droopy face. How would why would someone be like okay just droopy droopy and then I'll get the five year old the pencil. Hey hey scribble a bit more. Scribble a lot more. So, yes. A lot of the characters in the newer film does act, do actually act like their original parts, which I really like that. I actually could not be more happy with that. Yeah, they made Patrick the doofus, but not the annoying doofus. Here's how Nickelodeon saw it. Then SpongeBob World came out and oh, Patrick. If you did not get that, that is a reference to, uh, to Jurassic World, which, uh, we can get this up to above four likes. I'll review the entire, the entire Jurassic World series. So, yes, and, um, I don't want to, I don't want to really offend this part, but couldn't we just go out without the flipping birds? I mean, yes, they're there to make like, oh, the pirate have friends, but couldn't the pirate be be like, I see a bird, I chop its mother, beep, and head off. But no, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, birds be welcome. I will flipping treat you like I made you. And then when you're dead, I'll make you into fried chicken to give you to fat people. <sighs> Else thoughts do I have about this film? Man, I thought this review would be filled with insults. No, that's not like the original show. No, that's stupid. No! No, no, Mother Flipper, no! Change the channel! Actually, this is my camera remote. So, uh... Try not to dish out the stuff. Why was Plankton really in the film? I know, you might say, oh, you're copying off your other statement about the flipping birds. But, you have the pirates. And I know, they might have just added him in there. To make, like, the fans that liked Plankton's character happy. And be, and be like, uh... Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That ending was great. I did, I did not know that Plankton was gonna help them actually, even though he actually joined their team. So I guess I can't be too, too offensive. And plus, it would be taken away from my first statement, because if you didn't have Plankton, you wouldn't have that funny first scene. The reason I play. 
Gary, I'm sorry for neglecting you, but I never expected you to run away and leave me like you did. I'm gonna get a noise complaint, aren't I? So, yes. SpongeBob and the group set out on their on their CGI adventure. I mean, um, totally realistic adventure. Where's my tree jerk here? What? What? Can I get paid to the real over? Oh, the camera's still on. Would be great, Timmy. You forgot to turn it off for that scene. So, yes, like I said, they set out on their adventure, and the, yes, I know this movie is intended for little, littler kids, but, really, really, she had to make and I mean you had to make one of the stupidest stupidest Spongebob things ever and that's saying a lot to take the entire show into your mind for a minute You had to make Sandy realistic, and you broke one of you broke number one SpongeBob rule book. You cannot send SpongeBob and the friends up to where we live. That's the flipping plot for this movie. No! No! Come on. No! I know you want a cash cow. You want to feel more happy by by biting into the SpongeBob trilogy success. But guess what? Guess what, Nickelodeon? We noticed. We flippin' noticed. You broke number one rule. And I do not forgive you, Nickelodeon. Why do you have to ruin all the nostalgic cartoons? With crappy movies. Or just breaking the rules. Because, yes, the animated parts... Well, what are we saying? Saying the non-CG parts are actually pretty, pretty funny and accurate to the original cartoon. Gary, I don't remember anything about this song, but I know it kicks a. I really gotta get this review over. I mean. The melon CG parts are okay, but why couldn't you just save this for when SpongeBob was dead and you were wanting to to rebreathe it instead to re breathe life into it and keeping it alive instead of killing it? In this case. This hand always snaps the the neck of killing it. I'm the call I am Call of Duty Nerd 156 signing out.